Okay, just a review of the sort of RAS star, some RAS star theories or Rastas that believe that the black race is from outer space. We got the Dogon tribe, of course, in West Africa. Um, high knowledge about um, the cosmos, which has been confirmed o only over the past hundred years by by Western society. Uh, personally, I don't believe that all black people are from outer space. I think that I think the majority are. Um, biblical human beings just as the rest of us are created in the image of God but I do believe there is this race within a race or super race that Hitler spoke about Hitler was only um, confined to his region of the earth which was mostly Caucasian um, they also uh, this guy covers the fact that you know Hitler's theory really came from uh, India from Hinduism and uh you know that they're meant to be Caucasians in India and all that so I feel a lot of deception um, there's a lot of half truths going on but uh, well let's just listen to the guy and you can make up your own mind you know the um, question that has always boggled the minds of the people the origins of black men and black women that's always been uh, mind boggling to me see a lot of people don't pay attention to things a lot of people don't pay attention to things. A lot of people don't look at things. See, if you are truly observant, if you are truly observant of uh, what's going on, if you are truly uh, focused on what's going on, and you actually have questions about the origin of the black race, you will not find the origin of black race here on earth. Hell, your, uh, your archaeologists and your uh, people who look, you know, and they, te they do the uh, genetic coding and testing, they have not been able to find the origin of black people on earth. They haven't. They haven't been able to find the origin of black people on earth. They found the origin of white people. They're always linked to the East Indians. And that link goes back to the uh, animals or the ape, right? The ape man. The white man showed you the evolution of the human race, right? He showed you the evolution of the human race. However, in that evolutionary chart, I always say, he never shows the black man. Never. Or the black woman. They don't know where black people came from. They don't have any link, no genetic link to black people here on earth, right? They're trying to come up with all kinds of uh, illogical statements because this is something your, science, your scientists, your geneticists and these people do. They'll come up with all kinds of theories just so that they don't seem like they're in the dark about things they don't know. Like I said, they show you the evolution of the human race. And somewhere in there, they throw in the East Indian, they throw in the East Indian, who is the true Aryan, and they throw in the um, Asian, and they throw in the white man at the end of the spectrum. Right? They throw them in at the end of the spectrum. But when it comes to our people, we're nowhere on the chart. They're down, then they updated it to this uh, monkey woman named Lucy. Right? Like... I don't know how long ago they say she was who doesn't look anything like a black woman like a monkey woman like something they threw together that doesn't even look real understand scientists will come up with anything they will make up anything they will start to lie but it's up to us to logically listen to what's being said it is up to us to logically listen to what's being said and what's being advocated and these uh, things and these assertions and these statements they make it it's up to us to look at it because if we truly want to know what our origin is, we have to stop relying on the white man and other so-called scientists to tell us the origin of our people. You have simple-minded black people who are sitting here repeating that, oh, we came from monkeys just like the humans. Okay? This is what they're saying. They're saying we came from monkeys like the humans. Right? They're saying that we, uh, uh, we come from uh, uh, the same origin as the human race. And that's just not possible. We got different blood types, right? 
we have different hair texture. Our hair doesn't look the same like nobody on the planet. That's the that's a telltale sign. The East Indian, I always say it, the East Indian, the white man, the Asian, they all got the same kind of straight stringy hair. We got woolly afro hair. There's no animal that we could possibly come from that has that type of hair. So they can't link us to animals. Where did this hair come from? Where did this coating on our skin that looks different from everybody else? It's not melanin on our skin. It's a carbon coating, but where did it come from? Where did our features come from? Where did our lips come from? Because the majority of your human beings don't even have lips. They have slits in their face. They don't have lips. We have lips. We have broad noses. We have features that are unlike anybody else's here on Earth. How do you explain that? Wouldn't this not be a great explanation for true racism? Think about it. Could it be that we're being discriminated against, that we've been through hell here on Earth, through racism, through by, uh, under everybody from the white man to the Arab, even to the East Indians who treat us as outcasts? Why? Because we truly are outcasts on Earth. We are different people. We are a different species of people. We are not of the human race. The human race is created here on Earth. This place was, this place was, uh, or this planet was the birthplace of the human race. However, we have to come from someplace else because they can't find our origin here. They can't, so they have to look elsewhere. Our ancient ancestors in ancient Egypt said that they were from the stars, from other worlds. Right? Talk of Nibiru came up from the Sumerians. Right? spoke about a moving world in which a advanced race of people came from right and they said that they came from those people now people say this is myth and this thing and like that but when you speak about these stories right and show you how the black man and black women don't think you see that these are the origins of religion when our people were talking about these ancient advanced beings who came down on earth right these ancient yet futuristically advanced beings who came down on earth who looked like them who showed them how to build things and do things that they were in contact with they showed many pictures on the walls in Egypt and Sumeria and all this they showing pictures of these the way they refer to as Anunnaki Neteru coming down and talking to them teaching them why would they just make that up why, why would they just make that up right they talk about extraterrestrial contact right they're talking about before the white man was even talking about extraterrestrials and grays and all this other stuff they were talking about extraterrestrial contact see but the only difference is these extraterrestrials didn't look like no aliens no ET they look like us they look like us when the Egyptians were talking about the Niteru right the Niteru looked like us look like them they ain't drawing no, no ETs and no big heads and no slit eyes and things like that. They didn't draw that. They drew images of themselves. They said they were descendants of those things. So now you fast forward into religion where there's a God, one high, and angels and all this other stuff coming from heaven. This is the white man's version of our accounts. When they're talking about God and angels and uh, supreme beings, this is the white man's version of our true accounts of how we came here from another world that moved through the heavens. The heavens is translated really, what they're talking about is the universe. They don't mean clouds. The heavens means the universe, the body of light. And they talk about our ancient ancestors, talk about these beings who travel through the universe in their own world, on their own planet. Right? It was meant for people like Zechariah Stitches and them to unearth that piece of, of history, that account of our people. Those are our people. Those are all accounts of our people. Even go back further. The Dogons, when they spoke about these extraterrestrial beings who came down called uh, uh, Dogon, the, the, um, they call them uh, the Ogdos. Ogdos, they're talking about their god or their supreme being, their high ascendant was named Amma, which I said is the same thing as Amun. Right? This race of advanced people, this race of advanced beings. And they talk about their connection with those people. 
Now you look at the uh, you look at the uh, uh, Dogons and you see them doing their ceremonies. You see them with uh, head coverings that appear to look like antennas on their heads. Then you look at the ancient Egyptians, right? They also had things on their head look like horns and things like that with the sun in it. Those really pictures were denoting that these people were in tune with a sun or a solar planet. Because the word Nibiru translates into Nebura or Nebure, or that lighted place or that uh, city or that planet that was crossing or moving, right? A well-lit star or planet that looked like a sun. They spoke about this. Now, people want to sit up here and say, oh, brother, that's mythology. Why would it be mythology? Because the white man said it was mythology, but then he takes the same stories and creates a religion out of it, and then y'all turn around and start talking about Allah and Jesus and God, when those stories are those those stories that came came out of the accounts that our ancestors were talking about, having connection or contact with these advanced things. Now, I'm not turning this into a religious thing. I'm turning this into a logical thing, where there had to be a higher form of intelligence or a group of people who came here to earth and planted and seeded this earth with life, their life. Who would naturally be their descendants here? Because like I said, I like to put logic to things. I don't like stories. I don't like tales or fairy tales or all kinds of uh, uh, um, myths. I like things that are logical. It's logical that an advanced race of people started life here. It's logical that an advanced group of people um, created the solar system. It's logical that an advanced race of people traveled here, put the dinosaurs here, dropped them here, utilized them to do everything they wanted to do, and then when they were finished with them, they destroyed them. And in order to start their race of people, these almond beings refer to, refer to them as well, these omni beings from coming here because they got they used all of the dinosaurs and all the prehistoric uh, reptiles that were here to get the planet ready for them to come. Right? And we are them. The black race. We are them. We are the Anunnaki. We are the Niteru. We are the Amun beings. They're real titles. They're real race. Those who came from that place called Nebura or Nibiru. A real moving planet. A solar planet. A planet that houses its own light. A planet that is generating heat through the solar system and causing an expansion in the solar system because heat makes things expand, right? That's what. The, that's why the solar. That's why the universe is expanding because of the heat that's being generated from those solar systems, those other suns, where there are more than one solar system that's pushing the universe forward. Not to mention that their planet is pushing the solar system forward as well. I mean, the, excuse me, the universe forward. It's expanding the darkness. That's the light that they talk about in the darkness, but the darkness doesn't comprehend it, right? That darkness represents the universe. That light represents their world. It's a world that's driven by intelligence, communication, constant movement, constant energy moving forward, coursing forward. These advanced beings are here on Earth. The descendants of those advanced beings are here on Earth. And that is your black race. That's why everyone on the planet treats you like outcasts. Because they know what you don't. That you are the true aliens walking the planet. And we're going to discuss that in great detail tonight. I am the intellectual Nubin Menkares. And this is State of Men